In this video, we will graph a cubic function using Desmos to determine where the function is increasing or decreasing, as well as determine any relative extrema. For a quick review, if we read a graph from left to right, if the graph is going uphill, the function is increasing. If the graph is going downhill, the function is decreasing. And if we have a low point where a function changes from decreasing to increasing, we have a relative minimum. And if we have a high point where a function changes from increasing to decreasing, we have a relative maximum. And now let's graph the given function using Desmos. To begin, we open a browser and go to desmos.com. Then we click Start Graphing. And we enter the function in number one. We can enter the function from a computer keyboard or using the Desmos keyboard by clicking the lower left hand corner where we have a button that states Show Keyboard. We will enter the function using the Desmos keyboard. We will use y instead of f of x. We enter y equals 2x. To enter the exponent of 3, we press the exponent key here, a to the power of b. We enter 3 for the exponent, right arrow to get out from the exponent position, and then we have minus 27x. To enter the exponent of 2, we can just click on the a squared button, which squares the x, and notice the cursor is not in the exponent position, and therefore we do not have to press the right arrow. We continue by pressing plus 48x plus 7, and then enter. Now that we're done entering the function, we can close the keyboard by pressing the keyboard button in the lower left hand corner. Notice how we see hide keyboard. We do not have a nice view of the function and therefore we'll have to adjust the window. We could try click holding and dragging the graph to reposition it. When doing this, we can see we have a third x-intercept here on the far right. So the x-axis scale looks pretty good. We do have to adjust the y-axis. We could try pressing the zoom out button by clicking on the minus button here. If we click it three times, we can see we do have a high point here, but we do not see the low point down here off the screen toward the bottom. So we will have to adjust the window manually. Let's click, hold, and drag the graph to the left, then click the wrench in the upper right hand corner. We adjust the x-axis here under the x-axis label, and we adjust the y-axis here under the y-axis label. Let's change the minimum x value to negative 5. We can enter this from the keyboard or from the Desmos keyboard by again clicking on this button here. I'm going to go ahead and use my computer keyboard. Clear the old value and enter negative 5, tab, and let's try an x maximum of 10, tab. If we click back on the graph, notice how the window is still not ideal because we do not see the x-intercept on the far right. We can click, hold, and drag the graph, and we can see it on the far right. Let's click on the wrench again and change the x maximum to 15. So the idea here is we can adjust these as much as needed until we get a nice view of the graph. And now let's go down to the y-axis. Let's change the y minimum to, let's say, negative 200 and see if that helps. It looks better, but we still do not see the low point in this region here on the bottom of the screen. So let's change the negative 200 to negative 400. Tab. Let's change the y maximum to 100. Tab. And now let's close this window by clicking on the graph. And now we have a nice view of the graph. Again, we can click, hold, and drag the graph to reposition the graph if we wish. The next step is to click on the actual graph. When we do this, key points of the graph appear. We have the intercepts as well as this high point and low point as gray points. Let's click on this high point here. The order pair 1, 30 is a high point, which represents a relative maximum. If we click on the low point down here, the order pair 8, negative 313 represents a relative minimum because it's a low point. And now let's read the graph from left to right to determine whether the function is increasing or decreasing over a particular interval. So starting on the left, notice how the graph is going uphill until we reach the x value of positive 1. 
and therefore the function is increasing when x is less than one. And then notice from x equals one to x equals eight, the graph is going downhill, and therefore the function is decreasing when x is greater than one and less than eight. To the right of eight, the graph is going uphill, and therefore the function is increasing when x is greater than eight. Let's go back and record this information. We had a high point at the ordered pair one comma 30, which represents a relative maximum. And we had a low point at eight comma negative 313, which represents a relative minimum. So we can say f of x has a relative maximum of the function value or y value of 30 at x equals one. And we can also say f of x has a relative minimum of the y value or function value of negative 313 at x equals eight. And now let's plot the x values of one and eight on the number line as open points. So we have one here and eight here. So looking at the graph, to the left of negative one, the function is increasing. Between one and eight, the function is decreasing. And to the right of eight, the function is increasing. As we move to the right, we approach infinity. As we move to the left, we approach negative infinity. So using interval notation, we can say the function is increasing over the open interval from negative infinity to one union. The function is also increasing over the open interval from eight to infinity. And the function is decreasing over the open interval from one to eight. I hope you found this helpful.